chances are that if you click this video, it's probably because you want to know the difference between a non-porter supercharger versus a porter. You know, I didn't expect to honestly to find that big of a difference between these two blowers, but interestingly enough, when you start paying attention to the details, it's truly fascinating how they do this porting stuff to get, you know, 50, 60, even up to 100 more wheel horsepower. And the fact that they're able to do this without increasing the displacements, you know, the rotors inside, it's truly amazing. It really makes you think about efficiency. Here's a nice bottle with a capacity of 1.8 liters of water. Here's a nice picture of my supercharger, also with a capacity of 1.8 liters of air. Now, let me explain the difference. What this means is that basically per one revolution, my supercharger will move 1.83 liters of air each time the blower spins. Let's take for instance a 2.8 liter roots blower. Every time the supercharger has completed one revolution, it's pushed through 2.8 liters of air into the engine. The point that I'm trying to make here is that both of these superchargers are exactly the same. They both have the same displacement of 1.8 liters. The only difference is that one has been porter and the other one is not. Therefore, one is more efficient moving air versus the other one. Okay, so here we have both blowers and from the back you really cannot tell which one has been porter and which one has not. Uh, both obviously the same color, but the first giveaway that you're gonna be able to see, here, take a look at this one, look at this one. Obviously here you can see the plaque and this is going to be the main giveaway that this blower has been ported and this one has no plaque. But some people do put plaques here to the stock blower but obviously when you see this one, Stigmeyer, you know that that blower has been ported or has some type of work into it. The next giveaway that you could see and this one uh, took me by surprise, come here to the side, see if we could get it. And right there, right there, you're gonna see that it says stick my right there. And we're gonna take a look at the stock blower. Obviously, there's no marking there. See, there's nothing right there. So, that will be the first giveaway that you're looking at a Porter supercharger just from the top and from the outside, just from the casing outside. Okay, now we're gonna take a look at the inlet side. But the air goes in, here comes the intake. I want you to pay attention to the inner surface of the supercharger. Inside that blower, I want you to take a quick look at the surface where the air travels inside, the inner casing of the supercharger. Now I am going to measure the air inlet opening. And as you can see now, that's about 4.1 inches from side to side. Now from top to bottom, that's about 2.2 inches. Now that we've seen the inlet side of the blower, now let's flip it around and let's see how does it look underneath the blower. Okay, so now that we have the blower upside down, the first thing that we notice is where the rotor sat and this V-tape where the, the exhaust of the blower, you know, the, as soon as the blower rotates, you can see the, the blower spinning, the rotors inside spinning. We can see the V-shape and one, two, three, four holes in order for that air to uh, escape. The next thing that we notice is just how filthy this blower is, but don't mind that. Uh, if you've seen my previous video, you could, I mean, you'll be able to, uh, you know that uh, you need an oil cash can. If you haven't watched it, I highly recommend that you go and watch my previous video. I'm going to click right here to see it and then come back to this video or vice versa. We saw the stock factory blower. Let's take a look at the Porter Supercharger. And the first thing that we notice is just this opening and how smooth and machine it's actually inside you can see how 
beautiful honestly it looks it's so smooth as well you could also see how much material they've removed inside of this floor right here you can see there used to be a bump on the factory blower they removed that and just how machine and smooth also if we look towards the back of the blower where the rotors enter there's a lot of material that has been shaved and also here on this edge right here there's a lot of um, material that was shaved on this area now I am measuring the air inlet opening for the Porter supercharger as you can see that's about 4.5 inches and from the top to the bottom that's about 2.5 inches all right let's do a quick comparison of both air inlet openings the factory one versus the porter one here is a side-by-side -side video comparison of the air inlet side here is a screenshot of both blowers notice how much material has been shaved off the porter supercharger also pay attention to both surfaces and see how much more smoother the porter surface is compared to the factory one. Also feel free to pause this video and to really compare both videos. Wow, so now that we've seen the difference between both inlets, now let's just flip this blower and take a look at underneath how these two blowers compare. Now this is the Porter Supercharger upside down and we could obviously tell this opening right here and the shape, so via V shape, well have it right here, I'll show you right now. So via V shape and this hole right here is new, it's also a much wider opening. Here's the factory blower and here's the Porter one, you can see the opening. much wider it's just different also right here right here clean versus not clean um, but yeah here's the main difference See the V here, this is much, much wider. So I also wanted to use this opportunity to show you the difference between a Porter throttle body versus a factory one throttle body and elbow. So if we take a look at the factory one, first thing that we notice is also the material and this bump right here. If we take a look at the Porter one, the bump that right there, it's no longer there. And also you can see how smooth this area you know the the smoother the surface is actually the theory is that the air is gonna travel faster and it's gonna go into the motor also the opening is a little bit bigger right now let's examine the elbow the back part of the throttle body so here's the factory uh, elbow we could also see that what I was talking about about this area not being too smooth inside you see material on this corner right here and also if you take a look inside there's like two huge bumps right there inside now when we take a look at the at the one that has been ported we could actually see how smooth all this area is and there was a bump here there's not a bump there and those big things that we saw on the back are no longer present here is a side-by-side -side video comparison between the factory elbow versus the ported elbow honestly this actually took me by surprise there's such a big difference between the factory versus the ported one all right guys so there you guys have it uh, difference between a factory even supercharger versus a porter one and the porter throttle body and elbow the difference and those are the difference that i, I saw 
obviously if you guys know any other difference you could comment down below and, and let me know you know we're just learning here and, and sharing but um yeah guys so those are the, the main difference that i saw obviously that air is gonna really be smooth and you know the less bumps and the less imperfections there is air just like to be smooth man just like to just go there and go as fast as possible um, next video we're gonna talk about the update it's been taking a little bit longer to finally swap the car but uh, I'll explain on my next video but hopefully it should be done soon I can't wait to swap the car and take you guys with the tuning and see how much power she puts down and honestly see the difference between the factory blower versus the porter one so all right guys if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up i'll see you on the next one take care